having to dodge some raindrops this morning, unfortunately. I didn't think it was going to be raining. I thought it was going to be out of here. I finally got the audio figured out. I went ahead and bought that purple panda mic. I bought a little cheap boom mic and it was crackling and making noises with the audio and I just don't think that it was a very good mic to begin with. So a lot, I know a lot of the YouTubers they use the purple panda and I figured I'd just buy that one and give it a shot. So that's what we're rolling with now. ECU. The bike's got 186 miles on it now, as you can see. I, I gotta buy the velocity stacks from Graves, and then shortly thereafter, I'll have this back on the dyno. Get it flashed. It's, yeah, it's fun from the factory, but it's it's slow. So. Sounds amazing with the full Akropovic on it.
what's up with people buying these and putting them up for sale with like less than 500 miles people just ride it and think it's too slow like they think they're more than capable of the bike give the bike a chance Bike was created to race on the track. Like you're not gonna go out here with your buddies with their 600s or a leader bike and expect to stay up with them. That's just it's just kind of a ridiculous. Um, if you're gonna think that you're gonna be able to do that, but take this to the track and you'll be able to stay up. Depending on your riding ability and whatnot, you'll be able to stay up with the guys with the bigger CC bikes. I gotta turn around. It looks like it's raining up there. I don't wanna. I just spent a good bit of time cleaning this. I really don't wanna have to do it again. I don't mind a little bit of raindrops, but as soon as the road gets wet, that's another story. Don't sell your bike as soon as you get it and like run it up the street, you know, like what I'm doing. Ex expect to get some kind of amazing thrill out of it. Until you flash it, until you put this on the dyno and have it tuned. 